Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. As Anne just mentioned, we've been here before. Two years ago, 10,000 of us came on this very route, assembling at this very point. Please wave if you were here two years ago. So why are we here again? Well, two years ago, we succeeded in persuading not only the mayor, but all of his uh, main opponents in the 2012 election to commit to make London streets as safe and as inviting for cycling as in the Netherlands. We won that commitment on a complete cross-party basis with fantastic support within the London Assembly. And yet, how much change have we seen on the ground to date? Not a lot. What are the factors involved? Well, I could spend all afternoon talking about them, but at least one of them is that 95% of the streets in London are actually controlled not by the mayor, but by local councils. And if we're going to make local cycling viable for ordinary uh, Londoners, for kids like this chap here when he grows up, then it is the role of councils and the attitude of local ward councillors that is crucial. For years now, our campaigners have come up against brick walls with local councillors objecting to the removal of the odd car parking space or the allocation of some, of some protected space on the road. And that's why this campaign is so important. Because in each and every one of London's 626 council wards, we've come up with one tangible ask. And we're asking all of those candidates standing in those wards to commit to that ask. If you haven't already done so, please go to the spaceforcycling.org website and send a message to your council candidates. You can do it from your mobile smartphones. Do it right now if you haven't done it. And if you have done it, at least get two friends or neighbours to do the same. So far, 35% of all candidates across London have signed up to Space for Cycling. We've got a week now before the election. Let's get it up to over 50%. Thank you everyone, thanks for coming, and I'm glad to hand you over to our policy chair, Rachel Aldred.